praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. And um, Pastor Derek Wamala here in the Holy Spirit Broadcasting Network Studios. I'm so glad today to share with you the word of the living God. And I believe even as you watch from your studio, from your office, from your uh, phone, from anywhere we are, I believe the Lord is going to bless you and the Lord is going to touch you and bring light where there has been a light and bring uh, illumination where you need to be directed, guided in any way. I believe the Lord is going to bless us today. I want to talk about something today and a number of series that we will be continuing in the number a couple of programs. I believe the Lord will bless us together. The theme that I'm talking about is the bath of a dream. I believe someone out there, you have a dream. You, 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 you've been desiring to see something happen in your life. And there are a number of us sometimes who give up on our dreams. And I believe by the time we'll go through this series, you'll be encouraged to pursue your dream. You'll be encouraged to pray and believe God to fulfill that which he spoke to you. And you'll be encouraged so much. But before we continue, someone will be asking, what kind of dream are you saying? We have dreams that we need to be interpreted. Someone will say, I, 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 there are so many dreams and uh, you need to know exactly what are you talking, uh, talking about. And I want to bring it into context so that you may know exactly what we will be sharing uh, in this uh, series of, uh, of, 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 of this uh, moment in this studio. Uh, a dream. A dream is defined as a sense of thoughts or images or sensation that is occupying one's mind. And we have seen in a number of, uh, uh, in a number of scriptures in the Bible, for those of you who have uh, taken time and been in Sunday school, the very good story of the story of Joseph when he uh, had a dream. You know very well that is the most catchy story of Joseph and the dream. But we want to know that what kind of dream are you talking about? Those ideas that God brings away, those uh, images that God brings away, the things that God births in us, we want to see them come to pass. We want to see them being fulfilled. In the Job chapter 33 and verses 14 to 6, the Bible tells us that God speaks again and again. Though people may do not recognize it, but he speaks in dreams, in visions of the night when we are in deep sleep and fall asleep. People as they lie in their beds, we, I want to encourage you that the dream that God brings your way might be a direction for your life, might be something that you need to pursue. Some of us, the dreams that we have are so big and we may even fear, but I want to encourage you that through this series, as we listen and we, as we uh, call upon the name of the Lord, what God has put in our spirits will eventually come to pass. In Numbers, the Bible tells me in Numbers chapter 12 and verse 6 that I, the Lord, reveal myself in visions and I speak through dreams. Some of us have been instructed what to do, where to go, where to be, what to establish in dreams. And we have thrown, how we have trashed it out. But I want to encourage you that through this series, I believe that you will be able to bring back uh, what God has told you, and you will start moving and pursuing it fully. In Psalms chapter 17 and verses 3, and uh, still Psalms chapter 16 and verses 7, the Bible says that God visits us in the night and gives our hearts counsel and instruction even as we sleep. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I know you're watching, and I know every one of us in one way or the other, we have something God has put on our hearts. Something God has called us to do and to accomplish on this planet Earth. I know wherever you are, there is that thing. Some of us have given up on it. Some of us have, uh, have, have, have said it is too big. But I want to encourage you. That is what will define you. That is what God has uh, given to you so that you can contribute to this planet Earth so that you can make this world a better place. Some of you have been called for great ministries. Some of you have been called for great businesses. Some of you have been called into uh, areas of uh, gifts of healing, gifts to, to express what uh, the anointing that is upon you. But you fear, you hold back yourself thinking that it is not what God 
It is not yet your time. Or you see it as a big thing. Some of you have been called into big charity or, uh, charities uh, to go out in the nations and to be missionaries. And this is big. But I know that once you are humble and obedient and walk in the ways of God, eventually God will help you to bring this to come to pass. Uh, today, I want to start with a text which is in First Samuel. Uh, this is where we will dwell most of our time because I believe we will learn a number of things. This is a text that is uh, bringing in a few characters. Uh, we have Elkanah, we have Hannah, we have Penina, and these characters will teach us a few things that will encourage us on our way to birth the dream that is in us. Let us read uh, in First Samuel. The Bible says that there was a certain man of Ramathiam, Zophim, of the hill country of Ephraim, whose name was Elkanah, the son of Joham, the son of Elihu, son of Tohu, son of Zuf, and an Ephrathite. He had two wives. The name of the one was Hannah, and the name of the other, Penina. And Penina had children, but Hannah had no children. Oh, this is exciting. This is one man with two wives. But the Bible tells us these two women, one had children, and another one had no children. In other words, Penina had children. In other words, he, she was enjoying her dreams. She was living to the fullness of her dreams. She, this is what she desired. She entered marriage and she desired that she will have children and she had the children. But Hannah did not have the children. And I believe in her spirit she would desire to see herself giving birth. Some of us are seeing people who are enjoying our dreams are enjoying things God has called us to do, are enjoying the great ministries. When you look at TV, you look at someone and you say, I feel I have an anointing that is flowing in the same level. I feel like God has called me to do something in the likeness of that. I feel like God has called me to walk in the same spirit. And you feel you, it is not activated. You feel it is not showing up. You feel it is not uh, manifest. But I want to talk to you today that even if someone else is enjoying the dream in, of your life, it doesn't mean that you will not enjoy it. Even if someone is in that office that you have dreamt in your life to be in, it doesn't mean that you won't be in the same place. Someone is having a farm, a big farm, law farm, and that is what your desire has always been, to have the same. It doesn't mean that you will not have it. Penina had children, and you can, you can see what was happening in the house when you look at someone enjoying what you also want to enjoy. This is what we need to learn and to study and to understand, that these people were in the same environment. They had the same man. They were both women. It's the same man that used to be with them, who lay with them. But one would see the dreams coming to pass and the other would not see them coming to pass. We might be living in the same country. We might be in the same organization. We might be even in the same house. And one is prospering in the direction of their dreams and you might not be following uh, the way you want to follow. You, you're you know, going and progressing the way you want to progress. But I want to encourage you that there is hope. There is hope. It is possible for you to also experience and see your dreams coming to pass. I want to encourage you that do not give up. Do not give up seeing people prospering in the nation that you are in and you're not prospering. In your business, seeing other people prospering in the same business, but yet you are not coming to the level that you want your business to be successful. Seeing your ministry not taking off or your chat not taking off. Seeing your, your whatever you desire. Seeing other people successful and you are feeling like you are cursed. No, I want to encourage you that you can steal. You are built for this. You have what it takes. The Bible shows us that Hannah did not have children and it has not told us, it, has, it didn't tell us that Hannah was not a woman. She was a woman and she had all that it takes to have children. 
Amen. So I want to encourage you and let you know that your dream is embedded in you and it shall come to pass. It doesn't matter who is accomplishing it. It doesn't matter who is going ahead with it. It doesn't matter who is running ahead of you. Your time is coming. I want to pray for you and I want to believe with you that it is possible. It is possible that the dream that is in you will come to pass. It is very possible that the dream that is in you will you will see it come to pass. The Bible says that uh, we are going back to 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 to, to the Bible in uh, First Samuel chapter one. The Bible says that now this man used to go up year by year from his city to worship and to sacrifice to the Lord of hosts at Shiloh, where the two sons of Eli and Hof. Uh, Hophni and Phinehas were priests of the Lord. The Bible shows us that this uh, family was a God-fearing family. You can be there. You are going the presence. You go in the presence of the Lord. You seek the Lord, but you see things are not working out the way they should. My brother, my sister, it doesn't matter that. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that God has given up on you. It doesn't mean that God is not willing to come out and bring this to come to pass. Today, I want us to concentrate on this. That the dream in you, the dream in you will come to pass. It doesn't matter whether all other people are enjoying it and you are not enjoying it. I want to encourage you that you have the identity that it takes you to see that dream coming to pass. You did not go to that school and acquire those papers just to sit home. You have what it takes to take that job. You have what it takes uh, to, to, be, to, to start that ministry. You have been in ministry for a long time and time has come and God is showing you that you have the power the ability, the anointing, and the grace. It's just a matter of time. We will see as we go on in the next episodes that there is a time for everything. So we just have to continue nurturing our dreams, uh, bringing what it takes to be effective and to be uh, ready to move on as the Lord desires us to move on. The Bible shows that uh, Penina enjoyed and lived the dream and Hannah uh, had the dream uh, had her dream not manifested right in time. And I wanted to say it again to you that it doesn't matter. If anyone else is enjoying the dream, you can still enjoy your dream because you are built for it. You are built for it. Amen. The Bible says in uh, verse 5, let's continue. The Bible says, but to Hannah, he gave a double portion because the because he loved her, though the Lord had closed her womb. Amen. Uh, and Elkanah, when he used to go for these worship uh, ceremonies, he wanted to soothe Hannah, because she felt he felt like Hannah was not encouraged, uh, was not feeling okay because of what she was missing. There are things that come our way and they try to distract us from what God has called us to do. They try to make us be feel satisfied. They try to make us feel uh, that even if uh, we, we, we don't enjoy our dream, we can settle for less. Do not settle for less. Do not settle for less. But the Bible says in Acts, that uh, Acts, actually Acts chapter 1, uh, God promises the children, the, the, the disciples, that you go and wait for the Holy Spirit. And when you are filled with the Holy Spirit, then you will go and be my witnesses. But in Acts chapter 2 and verse 2, you will see that when the Spirit of the Lord, when they were, were in the upper room, when the Spirit of the Lord was coming, it is the mighty wind that came first. And how many of us run away with just the sound of the mighty wind and feel like this is an experience that we can share all around the world? I want to encourage you that it is not that, do not set off for that which is not what God has put on your spirit, that, that has uh, uh, bestowed in your spirit. Do not uh, set off for what God has not called you to do. If God has called you for nations, do not set off. Even if you are in that same place for years, still hold on to it. 
hold on to it because one day God is going to open doors that are going to that, is, that doors that are going to take you into the nations. Do not give up. If you have a dream to help so many people, continue helping that one person that you're helping. Continue helping that neighbor that you're helping. The Bible shows us that uh, the, 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 the Holy Spirit eventually came down and filled the disciples. Some will run with the mighty wind. And they will speak about the experience of the mighty wind. Some will speak about the flames of fire that came upon their head. But there was the real dream, the real thing that was promised. The infilling of the Holy Spirit. How many of us are, are, are settling just for the mighty wind? Settling for the flame of fire on our heads? I want to encourage you. The real thing is yours. The real dream is your portion. That which is in your heart, that which is burning, that which you share with people and no one understands and no one comprehends, that is what you should cling on. And we should push to see it come through. We should push to see it uh, come forth. Uh, in this series, I want you to believe with me that it is possible and it shall come to pass. I want you to believe with me that as we study this, uh, these three characters in First Samuel, that we will know that it is possible in the end to see our dreams coming to pass. Uh, I want to pray with you today. And I want to believe with you. Someone, especially that one, the person who has had given up, someone who has been discouraged, someone who is like Joseph, that when you share your dream, it has created a lot of problems to you and it does not even fit in the kind of society that you're in. You talk about things and people say this is not in our times. You talk about dreams and people are, it feels like a different language. I want to pray with you. And I want to believe that God is going to revive the fire. Revive the fire for you to believe on him, to wait on the Holy Spirit to instruct you and to direct you on the way how you are going to nurture this dream come to pass. And I believe eventually the dreams that we have in us will be given birth to. Uh, just lift up those hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, someone is watching this episode and I believe they have been discouraged. They have been, uh, 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 in one way or the other, they have been putting their dreams on the shelf and they are running with someone, something else somewhere. They are settling for something else. You have called them in different places, in, in great places, but they have given up and they are settling for something which is not right. Father, I pray that your Holy Spirit will right now reach unto them, revive their spirits, revive them and make them run for the dream that you put in their hearts. I pray for someone who uh, is trying to get out of school, someone who is trying to get out of that course, dropping it, someone who is trying to uh, give up on ministry, someone who is trying to give up on the church. I pray that the Spirit of the Lord may encourage you. The Spirit of the Lord may revive you. The Spirit of the Lord may bring a new flame in your spirit that you may know that he still has... Uh, uh, he is still faithful and he will fulfill the promise in, in your life. For everything that he said, he will fulfill. If he gave you the dream, just know that it's just a matter of time and it will come to pass. We have seen how faithful he has been in the Bible. It may tell you, but eventually it comes to pass. I want you to hold on that dream. I want you to write it once again. I want you to polish it once again and say, this is what I believe. Confess it once again. Declare it once again. Uh, put it in the, in the presence of the Lord once again. Uh, come, bring it into his presence once again and say, here I am. I'm ready to pursue this dream. I want to believe with you and I want to know, that, to believe that God will work it out for you. For someone who is watching and you have not accepted Christ, you have never a thought of uh, uh, believing in the gift of, the, of, of Christ, of salvation. You will never know what God has for you until you have a, a right relationship with him. It is him that you give your life. And when you give him your life, he will bring to clarity the dreams of your life. You are right now pursuing something else which is not in line with 
God. I want you to say with me this prayer. That Lord Jesus, today, I want my life to be with you. I give my life to you, Jesus. Write my name in the book of life so that I may have that eternal life and that I may live in your will on planet Earth so that all the dreams of my life will be aligned with your will. I pray today that you take over my life that I may live to build your kingdom. I believe in you. I confess that uh, you are my Lord and Savior in Jesus' name. If you have prayed that prayer, and if you have been blessed by this uh, uh, broadcast, you can always uh, reach unto us in the studios, reach unto this number on the Holy Spirit Broadcasting Network. Uh, double, uh, you can reach us on uh, 1-877-8588-1664. You, I, I, let me say it again. 1-877-588-1664. Or you can send your testimonies, you can send uh, uh, and, uh, your correspondences on PO Box 6811, Orange, California, 92863. And uh, we will be willing to reach out to you, to talk to you, and to, uh, to, to, to correspond with you. And if you want to reach me, you can always write to me at Wamala Derek at yahoo.com and we can always uh, communicate together wamala derek at yahoo.com or s double c sweden at gmail.com if you want to reach me out on my number it is plus two five six seven zero two seven six seven nine one nine i believe that the lord will bless us we are continuing in the series of the birth of a dream. You have a dream, don't give up on it. You have a dream, pursue it. You have a dream, no one should talk you out of it. If it is God-given dream, it is your instruction of life. It is what you are going to accomplish on this planet Earth. And it will build the kingdom and it will expand the kingdom of God and it will bring many to be blessed. I want to encourage you to continue watching our broadcasts on the Holy Spirit Broadcasting Network and you will be blessed. God bless you. God bless you. And hope to hear from you in Jesus' name. Amen. The preceding program was brought to you by the Holy Spirit Broadcasting Network, HSBN Television.